Now that you have reviewed your course choices for the first semester, this video will explain the registration process and how you actually request these courses. Course registration is made up of two parts, advanced registration and the course selection period. Advanced registration is when you will request your initial schedule. During this time period, you can change your requests at any time and the process is not first come first served. When advanced registration ends, the system will calculate all requests and create a schedule for you. Most students do not get all of the courses they request. Think of this as your first round of registration. About two weeks after advanced registration ends, the course selection period will begin. At this time, you will be able to view and change your schedule in real time. To begin the advanced registration process, log in to Pen and & Touch and go to Registration and Planning and then the Course Search function. Course Search allows you to find courses you would like to take. First, verify the term or semester you are registering for in the drop-down menu. You can use the simple search to find courses, such as Nursing 101. Simply type NURS 101 into the Course ID subject box and click Find Courses. All lectures and recitations of the course will appear. Some courses have both lectures and recitations. Make sure that you register for all parts of a course. Be careful that all parts are related to the same course. You can check by clicking on the course number of the lecture and adding the recitation to your cart from there. In this example, you will notice that NURS 101-1001 is the lecture component of the course. NURS refers to the subject code. 101 is the course number and 001 is the section number. NURS 101 has a recitation component seen here as NURS 101-201. Click on Add to Cart so that you have the courses available for your mock schedule, which we will go over in a moment. Add multiple lectures and recitations to your cart so that you have options and alternates. The Advanced Search option may be accessed by clicking on Show More Search Criteria on the lower left corner of the course search screen. By using the Advanced Search, you can find courses that will fit your schedule by selecting a day of the week or start and end times. For example, if you are searching for a Spanish course at a particular time, type SPAN into the course ID subject box and then choose a requested time. For this example, we would like a Spanish course that starts at or after 9 a.m. Press Find Courses and you will be given a list of courses that fit your search criteria. Review the language placement information in the Canvas site for more information on choosing the correct language level for you. We will add Spanish 110 to our cart as an example. You can also use the program drop-down menu to find critical writing seminars, freshman seminars, and academically based community service courses. For example, if you're interested in a writing seminar, simply select critical writing seminar from the drop-down list and hit find courses. Please note there are many more options than these listed. This is just a test site. Also, to choose the writing seminar that is right for you, refer to the appropriate information on the Canvas site. We will add a couple of Craft of Prose sections to our cart as an example and to use as alternates. Do not use the Fulfills Requirement drop-down to find courses. These are college requirements, not nursing requirements. The information about finding courses that fulfill sector requirements in the School of Nursing are found in the Canvas module on registration. Now that we've already added a few courses to the course cart, it's time to make a mock schedule. The mock schedule feature allows you to create a schedule and make adjustments based on the courses in your course cart. To find your mock schedules, go to Registration and Planning and then My Mock Schedules. We recommend making multiple mock schedules and renaming each mock schedule to something that's easy for you to remember. In the course search, you are also able to search for courses based on what fits in your mock schedule. For example, click on Find More Courses, which will take you to the course search screen. From here, go to Find Only Courses That Fit Into and select your mock schedule using the drop-down menu. Select a subject area and then click Find Courses. You should note that you can request courses with back-to-back -back times because courses end approximately 10 minutes prior to the published times. 
You just need to make sure that none of your courses overlap, creating a time conflict. Pen and Touch will also not allow you to register for courses that overlap in time. After you create one or more mock schedules, you are ready to enter your requests into the registration system. Note that putting courses in your mock schedule does not mean that you advance registered for courses. To register, go to Registration and Planning, and then click on Register for Courses on the left navigation menu. You can use one of your mock schedules or choose courses in the Prepare Course Requests tier box. For this example, we will use our mock schedule. As you can see, everything that was on that mock schedule now appears on the right side. Click the double arrow next to each course listed from your mock schedule to move courses to the preparation area. Then click Add Request for each request. Prioritizing your requests is a way to ensure the best chance of getting your top choices. Certain courses, such as writing seminars, are a requirement for most undergraduates and therefore have a higher demand than other courses. So, you will want to figure out your top choices and order your requests accordingly. For courses that require both a recitation and a lecture, be sure to request all components of the course, as shown here with Nursing 061. You can order a clinical or lab before a lecture, but be sure that the lecture section falls within your maximum credit amount, since this is the credit-bearing portion of the course. You will know which part of a course is credit-bearing because it has a credit unit value greater than zero listed. If your schedule fills with courses before the system can register you for the lecture section of that course, the system will not register you for any components of the class. You can enter requests and make changes in the system until the advanced registration deadline. Keep in mind that this is not a first-come, first-served process, and you may not receive all of your top choices, so it is important to include alternate courses. It's okay for your alternate courses to conflict with the associated primary request. Some good advanced registration tips to keep in mind are the following. Rank your classes strategically so that the classes for which you are guaranteed a seat, such as a required nursing lecture for a particular semester, are toward the bottom and the classes you are more concerned about getting into, in which you are competing for a seat, are toward the top. For example, undergraduate students will need to register for Nursing 101 in their first semester. Since there is only one section of Nursing 101 being offered, all students who need to register for this course will be enrolled, so you should put this course toward the bottom of your advanced registration requests. It is a good idea to put writing seminars, clinical sections, and lab sections that you really want at the top, since they may be more difficult to get into. For each course request, you were able to enter two choices, a primary and an alternate, which allows you to have a backup if your first choice is full. This is particularly recommended for clinical and lab registration, but is also good practice when registering for courses that are harder to get into, like writing seminars or case studies. While it can be, your alternate request does not need to be in the same subject area. For example, you may request a writing seminar as your primary and also select a sector, such as Nursing 313, as your alternate for the same course request. The Any column. This column is essentially asking you the following question. If you can't be placed in this section because it is full, do you want any open section? You are given two options, yes and no. For this example, we will use Spanish 110. You should select no for your primary choice so that it will then consider your alternate choice if the primary is full. However, you should select yes for your alternate choice so that you are placed in an open section in case your two selections are unavailable. If you select no for your alternate, you won't be placed in any section and will be dropped from the course entirely. This will become very important when registering for clinical and lab sections in future semesters. You can request as many courses as you like. However, you will be registered for no more than five credit units in your first semester at Penn Nursing. There is no submit button in Pen and Touch course registration. Whatever is listed on your registration page on Pen & Touch when advanced registration closes will be your course submission. After about two weeks, Pen & Touch will reopen for the course selection period and you will see which courses you received. At this time, you will be able to make changes to your schedule and add or drop classes in real time. You may contact your advisor with any questions you may have regarding the registration process.